Look at the Baisher, he's just out in the bow, he's just super excited. What's going on YouTube? It's Master Aquatics and I'm just bringing you guys another video like I always do. So I asked you guys, what do you guys want me to do with this tank that I just got for free? A lot of you guys said turn into a saltwater tank and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I got my saltwater stuff. Now I'm not going to make this a fancy saltwater tank because I don't have money like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a very basic saltwater tank for now. But eventually I'm going to get a lot of cool things for this tank. I already know what I'm going to stock it with at first but for right now I'm just gonna set up the tank make sure I get the water parameters correct I did a little bit of research this was really tough for me because a lot of the videos on YouTube that I watched a lot of the things that I read online was just not easy for me to understand I went to Petco I got me some salt I got me a refractometer and I got me some rocks the reason why I got the salt is because I didn't want to spend a dollar per gallon on getting the uh, ready to use salt water from Peco. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my own salt water because it's cheaper that way and then I got me a refractometer just to keep my water in check to keep the salinity where it's supposed to be there's directions on the box that lets you know how to use this and then I got me some rock to help me cycle the tank for filtration I'm just gonna grab both of these hang on the back filters here take them put them in here so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to start mixing my salt water so let's go ahead and get started can you can you stop I'm trying to make a video alright guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the instructions on here instruction says that I need to prepare small quantities of water use half cup of instant ocean per US gallon of water mix as directed so I got six five gallon buckets that I can put tap water in there for each bucket use the chlorinator such as prime now I did read online a lot of people were saying not to use tap water use road eye water I mean here it says I can use tap water I'm just gonna go with what these instructions say so half a cup of instant ocean per US gallon of water mix as directed let's go ahead and get started on that all right so here are my six buckets each of these buckets are five gallon each we're gonna go ahead and start filling these bad boys up with some water All right guys, so I got all the water in the buckets that I need. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this water doesn't have any chemicals that's unsafe for the fish. So I'm gonna be using some Prime. This is the only dechlorinator that I use. You can use some yourself if you order some through Amazon like I do. Link is down in the description for Prime. Make sure you get yourself some. Let's go ahead and add a few drops to each of these buckets. That should take care of the chlorine that's in the tap water. Now we're just gonna wait a few minutes for it to settle in, and then I'll go ahead and add the salt to each of these buckets. All right, so this is about half a cup. So I'm gonna give each of these buckets this amount of salt. Alright, so we now have the salt into these buckets. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix these up. Alright y'all, so I got the salt mixed in. Now we're going to go ahead and put the water into the tank. Let's go. Alright guys, so here is the tank. This is my salt water tank. It's not at its final stage, but we've got it started now. Two hang on the back AquaClear filters. I'll leave a link down below for those filters. I absolutely love these filters. I got one live rock in here that I got from Petco. This is going to help cycle the tank. I put my salt water in there 
Now, what we are going to do is we are going to measure the salinity in this tank. I've never done this before. I was told that this is what I needed to do. So let's go ahead and measure it. So here we go, guys. I got my refractometer here. I'll leave a link down below for this item as well in case you guys want to get started on your saltwater aquarium too. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right, so it comes in a gray box and I'm doing this one-handed. Box is pretty nice. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the plastic. You can do it one-handed just like I did. To use this, what you would do is you would get the dropper. You would put three drops of your salt water in here. And then you would point this at a light bulb, such as that one right there. And then there's this eyepiece right here. And you would just look into it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it with my camera but it'll tell you the salinity level. And right now my salinity level is really low. So according to Google, the salinity level should be around 1.021 through 1.027. Mine is way below 1.021. It's like below 1.010. So that's not good. So I can't keep any fish in here right now. To solve that from what I've read, I think I need to just let the water evaporate just a little bit, maybe to like right here. And then I'll add some salt water on top of that. For right now, I'm gonna leave a card up here on the top right hand corner. There's gonna be a few choices there. Let me know what you guys think would be best for this tank right here. This is a 46 gallon tank. And whenever it's ready, I want you guys to tell me up here what type of animals I should put into this tank that would be best suited for this size aquarium. So that's it for this right here. I'll be updating you guys in the next few days. And when it's cycled, we can go out, get some stuff for it. And you guys will give me information by then so I know what type of animals I can put in here. And we'll just leave it at that for right now. Hopefully you guys are excited about it. But I do want to show you guys something else. So here is the 125 gallon tank. I don't think I've showed you guys how these guys eat. Look at the bicer. He's just out in the bow. He's just super excited. A lot of things have been going on the past uh, few days since I've gotten these guys. For the most part, everybody's getting along. They're all eating. I mean, they do spar, especially this one right here. This one is constantly fighting with these two. Doesn't go after the pea and the bass. And the Texas cichlid, he just gets beat up by everybody, but he's a tough fish. He doesn't care. He's hanging in there. Catfish, he just chills. Nobody really messes with him, and he's getting huge. I just did a water change in here, so that's why it's kind of cloudy. I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys some krill. I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So unfortunately, I don't really have that much left. And I know as soon as I throw this in here, the bass, he's going to eat this right away. So actually to prevent this from happening, I'm gonna throw some minnows in here just so the bicher and the, the Midas cichlids get a chance at eating this. I'm gonna throw some minnows in here real quick so the largemouth bass doesn't go after the small pieces of krill that I have here. Alright guys, so now that I've fed the largemouth bass, I know he's still hungry, he's still gonna go after this anyway, but at least we'll leave some for maybe the bicher, maybe for the Midas, maybe for the other Midas and the catfish and the Texas cichlid. I don't think the bicher is gonna be able to get a hold of any of these, hopefully he will because he is a slow mover and a slow eater. They know it's about to be feeding time, I'm gonna throw these in here like so, and they are gonna go crazy, so let's go ahead and do it. This is called Frozen Krill, it's by San Francisco Bay, kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it. I've never had had any fish except my peacock bass not go for this stuff fish love it and I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this in here just 
gonna throw it whole and my largemouth bass he's gonna go for that I don't know why he started eating krill because before he would not eat krill he would not go for that whatsoever but now he just absolutely loves frozen krill by the way I put my clam in here and unfortunately my clam is no longer alive my buy shirt went and ate it I'm happy that he was able to get some good food in him but I'm also a little disappointed that uh, my clam is now gone but that's okay I can go get another one when I go fishing again I know I haven't been fishing in a while if you guys want to see me do some more fishing videos please let me know down in the comment section down below Alright guys, so that's them eating for the most part. I didn't have too much food to give them. I'm pretty much out of food to give them until tomorrow. I have to go to the store, get some more food for them. But I do want to update you guys real quick just on the baby tarpon. Now I made a video the other day where I did some surgery for this guy right here. And it looks like he's doing absolutely wonderful. But that thing is still on his face. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to try to remove it again. A lot of people were saying you should have used better tools. Trust me, his skin, his scales are so tough. Um, and the only way I'm going to... The only way I'll be able to get that off is if I use like a fillet knife or something, but I don't know if there's any fillet knife small enough to where I can cut that without possibly hurting him. You know what? That thing on his face doesn't bother me one bit and it shouldn't bother you guys. I mean, he's happy, he's healthy, he's doing great, he's not attacking my fish, he's eating, he's doing wonderful. There's no need for me to try to get rid of that off of his face. If you guys want to see that video where I cut that thing in half pretty much, you can click on the top right hand corner over here. I highly suggest that you watch it. It's a really good video. It was very intense. I was really nervous to make that video. It took a lot for me to do that. It took me a few months to, to get the courage to do that video. Please watch it and it really helped me out too if you could just watch it for me. That's it for today guys. More videos to come. Still trying to make 20 videos for this month. Hopefully I make it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.